We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. This one isn't exactly a mod tutorial. This one is more of how to move your game files from C drive to the D drive or from one drive to another. All right. Maybe have um, one drive that you have your game files on that uh, you're running out of space on and you want to switch it to a whole nother drive that you have more gigabytes or more space on. All right. So this is the tutorial for that. First thing we want to do is open up our Steam. This is also only for um, people that have uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 through Steam, all right? Um, you wanna open up your Steam, then you wanna click on Steam in the corner, go to Settings, click on Downloads. And when you get to Downloads, you're gonna see Content Libraries at the top right here. You wanna click on Steam Library Folders, all right? Now this right here is where you're gonna have an option to add a library folder, all right? Now this is gonna be our chance to add the drive that we want to uh, move our game files to all right now if we click on add library folder this menu will open up where we get to find a destination all right if we click right here on this bar we get to choose uh the different drives that's on a computer <clears throat> through uh c d e f g that's on my computer and uh, whatever drives you have on your computer will be listed right here so go ahead and pick the drive that you want to move it to um, say like you want to move it from C to D drive then you're going to pick D drive and then you're going to go ahead and pick the folder that you want to move your uh, game files to all right I've created a folder uh, right around here in my steam library I created a folder right here so um, once you have found the destination that you want to move your game files to you want to click select okay I already have mine so I'm just going to exit out of here but you want to click select after you click select you can exit out of this part as well and exit out of the settings next we want to go to our uh, library click on the games then we want to right click on Grand Theft Auto 5 we're going to scroll down to properties click on properties go to local files right here then we're going to go to move install folder we're going to click on that then uh, we're going to have this box that pops up. It's going to say Grand Theft Auto 5 is installed under library folder and it's going to have the destination. When you first come in here and your files are on the C drive, it's going to say C drive. All right. Um, right here is where we're going to click on. If you click down right here on this bar, the C dr the drive that you wanted to move it to that you just created will be right here. OK, so um, once you click on here, you want to pick the new destination that you just created once you pick that you want to come down here and click move folder all right I'm gonna have uh, some uh, footage of some uh, uh, footage of it downloading but it's gonna be fast forwarded because it takes uh, probably about 20 or 30 minutes it depends on your internet connection it might take a little longer but I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward that footage but you want to click on move folder and then wait while it loads All right, now that you're all done uh, with moving the files over, you can see that um, all the files have moved successfully. You can see the amount of giga, uh, gigabytes um, that it took. Now we can exit out of the settings menu and exit out of Steam. Uh, let's go ahead and um, bring up our uh, old directory. If you see right here, there's nothing. They moved the whole complete uh, file that was in uh, our old location on our C drive to our new location on our D drive. Now you want to look for the location that you have set for your files to be sent to, which is going to be to your Steam library. Once you find the folder that says your Steam library, look for Steam apps, and it's going to look the same way it did on your uh, C drive file, all right? You want to click on Common and then Grand Theft Auto 5. You'll see all your game files right here. From here, you want to run the game. You could just click on uh, the GTA Launcher, and then a the little box will pop up from Steam. And then um, you'll start to see the social club box load up and then um, it'll sign you in and then the game will start to launch. All right, now that we have successfully loaded back in the game, as you can see, um, everything is uh, all brand new. Uh, well, not brand new, but everything is set back to uh, the original game files. 
Um, from this point on, you will have to add your own mods or your scripts or whatever you had in there. All right, that's going to do it for me. If this helped you out, smash that like button and definitely subscribe to the channel. This is Games and Graphics, y'all. I'm out. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.